God bless you all. Um, tuzome number 13, tuanzie 27. They gave Moses this account. Sasa, kwa hii story, kwa hii tukio, ni Musa likuwa metuma some people who ended by the land which they were promised. Kwa hindi waone ni nini iko huko, then wakujua letter report. Sasa, hapa ni walikuwa na letter report. They gave most verse 27. They gave Moses this account. We went into the land which you sent us, and it does flow with milk and honey. Here is its fruit. But the people who live there are powerful, and the cities are fortified and very large. We even saw descendants of Anak there. The Amalekites live in the Negev, the Hittites, the Hittites, Hittites, Jebusites, and Amorites live in the hill country, and the Canaanites live near the sea along the Jordan. Sasa hapa hivi, venyo waliendo wakarudi na ripoti, walianza kusema venye, tumeona watu wakubwa, ata hapa verse, verse 33, wanasema venye, mbele ya macho ya hawa watu, wanaonekana kama grasshoppers. It's in the, that time in front of this people. But, tuneza wakriticize, lakini kwa naswali moja, Awa wakienda, wakitoka kwenye nikuwa natoka. Wakiambua there is a land of milk and honey. Mwenye iwambia kuna land of milk and honey. Na wakaenda waka confirm ni mkweli. Huyo mungu wangia wapigania. So, so ili nililuzo wapa ni mwona, tunapenda kuchukua vita ambazo si zetu. Why do we take the fight that doesn't belong to us and we fight it? Tukiangalia verse 30. In a sermon, then Caleb silenced the people before Moses and said, We should go up and take possession of the land, for we can certainly do it. 31. But the men who had gone up with him said, We can't attack those people. They are stronger than we are. Why are we trying to attack? Mona to the Jeremu ku attack na vita si vietu. Mungwa baya you are later, waka fikisha when you are fikisha. Do mungwa baya to apigania, waka wengie kwa ilan. So, wa Christo tuna onanga salvation na kuwa ngumu. Mama maisha ya Christo ina kuwa ngumu kupita kiwa wanga ambacho ina fai kue. Ni kwa sababu tunajaribu kupigana vita ambazo si vietu. Jesus is there to fight the battles for us. Do kwa maana, ali tuokoa. Upendo wa Yesu ni mwana ni kama aneza tuokoa alafu atueke position yenye. Yani si ange tuwacha tu kama ange kwa natupenda venya natupenda. Si ange tuwacha tupambane na ali yetu. Lakini upendo wake ndo ifanya atuondoe kwenye tulikuwa. Kwenye tulikuwa tulikuwa tunajipigenia. Kwenye tulikuwa tulikuwa tunajani tutakula nini tutakunya nini tutakani. Mbono tumefika kwenye yako na bado we are fighting battles that yei mwenyewe ya kuhili kufight for us. Watu wa kuonge vibaya, watu wa kusengenye, watu wa seme kinyo watu. That is not your battle to fight. Because the only battle you're supposed to fight ni wewe na salvation yako. Venye utangangana uingie mbimuni. Si venye oo, nani ya nisema hivi, humu njina iliongea vibaya. That is not your battle to fight. Oh, haya kisijutu wakula ni that is not your battle to fight. Mwenye alikuwa kwa sinu aliandika, usijali utakula ni utavali ni. So why would he lie in the same book that he says he will fight for you, then bad old house will get bitter. The same way our Kina Kaleb, Kaleb be an asema that waende wa wapigani. Si awa na fwa pigani. Mungu mwenye li tuokonda na fwa pigani in bitter. So we struggle with salvation kwa hali ambazo sisi tunafwa tukai nyuma tuwache mwenye li tuokonda wa fwa nyikazi. Kwa sa wapu Unakubuka hali yesu alipitia kwa msalaba. No, the journey to the cross was harder than the cross itself. Kwa sababu wende apeleko kwa mtu wa kwanza, apatika ni ana atia. Apeleko kwa mtu wa mbili, apigo makofi huko. Apeleko kwa mtu wa tatu. Like, Jesus went through so much for us to come and still fight. The only thing we're supposed to worry about ni, ni mesema thank you Jesus enough leo. Ni mwe wangu yiko aji, mawazo yangu ya naka aji, fikira zangu sinampendeza Yesu. Then, sit back and watch if Jesus will not fight for you. Kunye useme salvation is a scam. Lakini kama wewe ulikubali ukamwambia, uwe buwana na mwukozi wa maisha yangu. Buwana, Lord and Savior. Meaning he is there to save you from situations. So don't worry about what is happening at the moment. Ukiona hali inakakuwa mumu sana. Sema, 
Sini nafani pigani. Mwenye ni miokondo atapiga. Mimi nafani angalie kwenye e, roho yangu isichafuke. Mazo yangu yekwe ya nampendeza. Fikira zangu. Zikwe. Let me be connected to Jesus. Let me not worry about anything else. Because we fight battles that are not going to last. And that is why salvation is difficult. If you understand that, yes, what I should be like to do. But before that, I was going to be a good person. 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 I was Anaishi kwa mlima. So twende kwa vali. Mungu akasema okay kwa sababu watu wamesema mimi ni Mungu wa mlima na siezi waacha tukuje tuwashinde mara ya pili. Eh wakiwa sasa eh kwa vali. Unaweza ndio usome. Eh ujue there is one bona nas. Natoa hiyo ni kwa sababu kwa mali mingi sana kwa Bible Mungu alikuwa anatumia very impossible situation. Vitu zenye wanadamu eh hey, alikuwa na aliambia Gideon mnaenda watu mkiwa 300. Gideon ameja hana thika ni jaribu kunegoshia na sema ya kishwali. Unamalisha miatatu. Peke. Dio, wanenda batu. Eh, kila, eh, kila, kila, kila place alikuwa natumia. Na ndio nilikuwa nataka sasa tukuje. Jane ilikuwa karibu tufiki hiyo quote. Lakini kuna quote flake nye Tibi Joshua nisema. Na nataka tutafakari sana. Sawa, sawa. When you worry, you are a co-worker of Satan. Hello? When you worry, you are a co-worker of Satan. Kwa sababu ni Satan peke ya nadetanga wari. Ejai, fruits of the Holy Spirit. Muna wana wari? Eh, ingekua ingekua yuko hapo tumesema enye wa hacha ni wari. Kwa sababu inatoka kwa, lakini, haiko, at no point. Wanyo tu imesema, Yesu alikufa, ndio tusikuwa na wari, ya kiti yote. So when you worry, unajua wewe umekaribia shetani, Sasa wacha tufanya kazi, ameleta wari kidogo, umeleta wari kidogo. <laughs> Tusomia shei wari. Haya, tunde, tunenda about in. Tumbas 14. Yes, sir.